me, it doesn't have to be, but, uh, you know, whatever. Anyway, guys. Welcome back to more The Evil Within. When we last left off, uh, we were exploring a rather nasty place. A smashed up skyscraper, no less. This time, well, it looks like we're underground. In the underground. So, let's go and explore. Uh, memory isn't massively brilliant with this chapter, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, what have we got with this one? Yep, I kind of vaguely remember that. Yep, I was <laughs> I was hoping we would get something a little bit better than uh, you know a load of monsters out of that one, but whatever. Whatever. Anyway, we got like three keys that we got in the last one. Uh, I don't know how long this video is going to be, by the way, guys, because uh, my missus has just popped out to go to a job interview. So yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully, it will be at least yeah twenty minutes or so. Right. Let's keep exploring. Pretty sure there's a key. Uh, like hanging down from somewhere. Yeah, I'm not too. Ooh. Can we go inside there? Yes, we can. Not too bothered if we miss anything. Hello. Oof. We definitely kind of need to rebuild our explosive. No, we didn't actually use that many, did we? I was going to say rebuild our stocks of parts. But actually, you know, apart from a few explosive bolts, that was basically all we used. Nice, big, fat, juicy med kit. Oh. Very nice. Very nice. But I know there is a, a key as well. I just like to buy some railings or something, I think. Every time I hear that kind of like electrical buzz, I just instantly think Resident Evil 4. Still, nice little loot room there. We'll take it. Okay. Um, I know there's a bloody key here somewhere. It's going to bother the shit out of me if I don't find it. Uh, oh, we got a nice little checkpoint. Definitely have the syringe. Um, so we can go down there, but we kind of don't really want to. Uh, I know you're here somewhere. Son of a bitch. Now that is frickin' sly, man. That is crazy how sly that is. I thought it was out of some railings. I mean, I suppose, sort of, but yeah, happy with that. Alright, let's go and see if we can't pay the old nurse a little bit of a visit. A little bit of a how's your father? Ooh. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Almost went straight past the bloody door. That would have been awkward. My dearest Sebastian, if you've received this letter, I fear the worst has come to pass. It means that my investigation got too close to the truth. It means that you may never see me again. I'm sorry I kept it from you, it, but it was to protect you from either the truth or my madness. I've enclosed a copy of my files. I only hope that you never receive them. But if you do, it's up to you to finish what I started. Please find justice for Lily and for me. I love you with all my heart, Myra. So yeah, she didn't go all cold and abandon him. She was getting to the bottom of the moida of her child. Don't you think you should use your green key? 
Yeah, I do actually. I'd fucking love to. Now shut up. Pissing me off with this uh, attitude of yours. Use your green gel. Oh, you joker. Missing Ivan Diaz, freelance journalist, never returned from covering a story. His camera and notebook were found at the village of uh, Elk River. Elk River, huh? Sounds nice. Not as nice as uh, Riverwood or Ravenwood, whatever that first village is that you come to in Skyrim now. I forget. Rorikstead. I forget. It's been a while since I've played that. Um, office linked to foreign intelligence burned. Arrests made. Uh, buildings, houses, communities, outreach centers burned to the ground. There were even uh, there were allegations the center was a front for foreign intelligence. <gasps> oh no! Well, we got like seriously, you couldn't have held the door open for me. You could not have held the door open for me. Ah, oh. I hope I'm not paying for this service. By the way, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we may have missed some, I guess. Right, so we've... Oh, yeah, we had the, all the magnum ammo last time. Right, what have we got? Yeah, I, uh, you know, we're... I guess we're overdue for some clunkers. So, let's get them out of the way. Yep, clunker. Ugh, I mean... Ugh. Yep, yep. So we got decent, decent, trash, eh, and trash. Well, that was a very anticlimactic um, thing, but whatever. All right. Okay. Let's. Advance. Ooh. Now. I mean, that kind of did something. Come on, sir. Walk this way. Ooh. He kind of like deployed that. A bit rude of him, really, but. Now. Hopefully. I was going to say, hopefully, that's most of the explosives, but. Oh! We can disarm these. Alright. Good to know, I guess. I mean, we're probably not going to. That one was literally just a jar of green piss, wasn't it? And that absolutely was not worth our time. Ah, uh, I don't know, actually. Well, no. Because we used one match and got one match. So, yeah. Not worth our time at all. Complete waste of resources. But, hey, that's fine. Right. We've got here black hair. Yeah, we know that. The pig! Beware the pig! Call me Mr. Pig. Oh, I don't think... Oh, hello. Oh, yeah? What are you up to, sweetheart? You want a bit of this, do you? Huh? Ah, oh, you bastard. Oh, hello. He's got a friend behind him, apparently. I think. I don't know what he's got. Well, that's okay. We've got a magnum. Even better if the magnum would hit stuff. But that's optional, I suppose. You're right there, darling. Oh, God. Almost. In the chest. In the head. Last one. Nope. He's not having it. Oof. 
You done? He's done. We were almost done, to be fair. A little bit of an arsehole on that guy, actually. And that's alright. We don't mind that. Let's reload that magnum, though. Those big, fat, heavy shells. Although that's not the greatest. Uh, or most interesting reload animation that I've ever seen. Kind of just feels like the standard pistol, which is anticlimactic. Okay. Ooh. Hello. Not fantastic. I was hoping I could run up to you and just, like, set you on fire or something. Come on. Duck, Sebastian. There we go. Oof. Guess we can take those. Or at least we can take one of them. Better than taking none of them, I suppose. Now, this bomb. Oof. Okay. Well, I guess we're going through. get some light in here. We've got Mr. Pig at the White Fog. Well, you're not watching any of your shitty movies today. Maybe tomorrow, but not today. Let's move my drink out of the way. Stop knocking it with a mouse. Oh. I remember this. Kind of, anyway. Right. I guess we can use our sniper rifle. Let's see how good our sniper rifle actually is, shall we? Um. Oh, that's bad. Really? Are you fucking serious? There we go, there's one. Two. Is that him done? I guess that's him done. Man, the hit detection on that is just anus. Absolute wank. Well, we'll have you. Is that an explosive we got strapped there? Not sure. Well, it looks like that gentleman's seen me. Which is probably a bad indicator. Ooh. Don't mind. Certainly have those. Anything else? Big green can of monster. Hello. Alright, mate. Oh. Thanks for that. Now, are you actually dead dead? Pretty sure I did detach most of your skull from your body. Talking a monster. Ah, slurpy slurp. Right. Now, what's the... Betting that these guys, yeah, they're not down. Of course they're not down. That would be silly. Come on, you big overgrown bell end. That's it. Step right up. Yeah, look at that. You fell over, huh? That was silly of you, wasn't it? Thank you. <laughs> that was very kind of you, actually. A match for three bullets? Was it worth it? Uh, I'm not sure. What are you going to give me? Anything? Nope. Nothing at all. 
What about you, sir? You kind of have like a bit of a porcelain face going on there, dude. Ooh, nice. All right, bit of an asshole on this guy. I like that. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Complete dick. Whatever. Right, let's go. Let's be careful now. Oof. Don't remember seeing one of those before that goes all the way around. Alright, an extra sniper rifle round. That's quite quite good actually. This sniper rifle man really is carrying us quite far here. And it shall probably continue to do so. Not bad. Oh, I didn't even bloody see that. I don't know how I didn't see that. Does that just reset? No, it's going to disappear. Yeah. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Sneak. Oh, there's another one directly ahead. See, so I can see that one. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Yep. We can disarm these with our mind. I like that. Bullets. We like bullets. Check those corners. Either an explosive or something to do with the environment. Which one? We may never know. Oh. Well, that's bad. That is a little bit naughty. Ah, there's a gentleman there. Well. <laughs> Alright, that worked. Chunk him with his own weapon. Oh, good lord. Uh, yeah, it's a bit rough. How close to these can we actually get? Yep, this is going to hurt. Yep. Alright, so you literally have got to use ammo to shoot those. You have to. You have, don't have a choice. And we're all the bloody way back here, aren't we? Alright, and we're back. So, not exactly what I would call significantly better. But, possibly different, yep, still having a lot of trouble actually trying to, well, you guys didn't see that because I did it all off camera, but I'm having trouble getting up to enemies in time and burning them and sometimes going into my inventory as well. That doesn't always work. Yeah, just getting the prompt to, to actually burn enemies. I mean, we don't have any matches at the moment. I get that. But there have been some frustrating instances. And we're out of... See, what would you do in a situation like this? And you don't really have anything you want to use. To destroy these traps, I guess. You've got to use stuff that you don't want to use. I guess. That's just the way it is. That's how it do be. You know, I would like some health. I'd be very appreciative of some health. Okay. Think we're good. Let's just keep our creep on. Alright. Let's 
is a little bit quieter now, but I don't. I'm not 100% sure that I really trust it. God damn, we re really don't have anything, do we? Uh, I guess we're just going to be leaning on the harpoon quite a bit. That's okay. I don't mind the harpoon. It's way better when it's upgraded, obviously. Way more fun with the uh, max upgrade as well, which I believe sets everything on fire. Superheats the bolts. Ooh. Ah, wait, hang on. My key sense is going. We're almost there, Sab. Um, yeah, the, yeah. Oh, hello. I don't think so. You're dead? I mean, he should be dead when you think about it. He does have, like, a massive thing sticking out of his brain. Uh, I'm sure somewhere. There is a statue on this. I'm sure there's a statue here. I could be altogether wrong, mind you. Actually, let's make some more ammo. We're starting to really eat into that ammo now, aren't we? You can see that it really doesn't last too long. Um, Alright, well, maybe not. Maybe there's another carriage somewhere. Oh, syringe. Definitely have that. Maybe the statue's here. If I was a statue hiding from Sebastian Castellanos. Where would I be? I'm sure it's like in a corner of one of these. Uh, eh. I mean, admittedly, it's most... Ah, there you are. I was going to say, admittedly, it's most likely going to be shit, but we'll have it. Okay. God damn. No... Oh, I suppose, actually, we do have some basic ammo left. Well, this looks gooey. And, uh, moist. There we are. Be feeling a bit more confident if we had some more of those matches, but we've only got what we've got. That's awkward. Resident Evil 6 called and wanted it. Ooh, wanted its goo back. Those guys are pretty rough. Get right there, fella. Hopefully, he's not going to break out. But he, I mean, he's already here, so. I guess. Ah, good. Great. What the fuck is that guy doing? Look, stop fucking around, mate, and move your ass over here. There you go. Oh, I guess. I guess that doesn't work on those guys. That's awkward. I guess we can't just vaporize you. But we can pin you to a wall. Which is a very distant second. He's still twitching. Oh! That's bad. Is he getting back up? Yes, he is. Mate, can we not? Can 
Can we just... Just not? Well, we got bamboozled by all of these supplies. Oh, look, it's literally right there. Man, I feel like a bell end. That's okay. Won't be the first time. Won't be the last. Alright. This area is looking a little bit spoopy. And he's looking a little bit droopy. Oh! We can electrocute these guys, I think. Somehow. We like throw a bottle to wake him up. Or summit. Pretty sure if memory serves me correctly. Uh, if we get too close to that, we're going to die. And we're getting like zero frames a second, which, funny enough, the recording looks smooth. There we go. Come on, you stupid bastard. Really? Just There we go. I was going to say, I'm not buying that. Maybe we can crawl under it. I mean, yeah. I'm surprised. Extremely surprised. I would have thought that would have been... Yeah, you're fucked, by the way. Um, Alright. Keep going. Oh! Definitely have those. Got a rat. Guessing the rat isn't gonna be doing too much damage to us. Can't fiddle with any of that. Ooh. How do we? Oh, he got himself squished. He did. Did grab some gel. There we go. Oh, oh! Just, just let yourself in, mate. It's all right. Don't mind me. Well, that was fucking useless, wasn't it? This could get bad. Yep, this is gonna get lots worse before it gets better. There we go. I mean. It wasn't elegant, but it worked. I do want those. Alright, let's go see the nurse. Hopefully she can kiss something better. I don't really care what she kisses better at this point. Just as long as it's something. Journal of Sebastian Castellanos. No word from Myra since I received the packet. I'm afraid to take this evidence to my superiors. What Myra is suggesting is horrifying and may reach corridors of power beyond my reach but the evidence she provided is enough to convince me that Lily's death was not an accident they finally accepted Myra as a missing persons case but refused to involve me they say it's because I'm family but I think they consider me a suspect the investigation has stalled but for the sake of my family I will continue to investigate on my own <laughs> oh but silly Sebastian you don't have a family anymore Let's go. Oh, Sebastian, you jester. Hello, nurse. What are we looking at today? What's on the menu, by the way? Have you forgotten something? Yes. Ah. I mean, that's the inside of Sebastian's coat. So, there's our nurse. Nurse, can we not just pick that up? Yes, we can. 
Tatiana, nurse at Beacon Mental Hospital, disappeared whilst working a late shift. No evidence of her ever left, uh, ever leaving the building. But she's. Get together, Sebastian. You know none of this is real. None of this is actually happening. What can we pick up? Oh, hospital case sealed. Chief of staff points finger at former doctor. Nurse missing. So I guess she was horribly and brutally murdered. Probably had some kind of brain transplant. Uh, well, you know, I mean, it's not nothing. Ah, I guess we can take those. Um, I'm, I don't really want to take these whilst we're carrying so many. Just because if the, uh, option arises to find some out in the field, I'd rather take the ones out in the field. But anyway, guys, I'm going to save this one because we're on half an hour and I don't know what time my missus is coming back. So, we're going to drop a bit of a save there. And we'll continue this chapter in the next part. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.